Hi everybody, this is Deborah with Fabulously Creative YouTube channel and I'm doing a video response to the Flamingo, the Green Flamingo 717 YouTube channel Help Me Challenge and she's asking for help on storage solutions for a small space and I have had to work with a small space once um, in my bedroom and that was a very challenging um, situation but I was able to get a lot of stuff in that space now I have a room that is strictly for my scrapbooking stuff but um, I'm still cramped um, for storage solutions but anyway so I wanted to share my ideas and first of all is um, the desk and um, is to build up from your desk which this desk is taller than the one that um, that you have than um, the green flamingo has but um, but it's still the same principle because if you start see I even have things stored under this desk um, those two bags are full of stuff but anyway um, see this one has bookcases and then I've added storage boxes and I could add more storage boxes which I'm gonna have to do um, and all my storage boxes have different things of course in them this white one has um, on the bottom here has um, all kinds of scrapbooking embellishments like sticker type things and 3d embellishments and then the brown one up from that has 12 by 12 single sheet papers in it and then up from that is, um, oh, let me think. I th think that is stamps. Um, yeah, um, rubber stamps. And the small, like, Studio G stamps are in those two boxes. And then um, I love these storage, um, ribbon storage containers. I'm trying to find one. I've got several um, that you can see better. I love those and, and they're made so that so that the ribbon can actually come through these holes or slits or whatever you want to call it but I don't do that I just um, unzip it from the back and take the whole roll out um, I also love my stamp storage which um, is from close to my heart but these individual pieces will fit together and form a carousel but the big carousel you know having it in a square spindle type deal takes up more space and I like to have them individual across the back of my desk um, which these are pictures that I'm working on right now so I could expand over if I needed to and wanted to and also this is part of the carousel that um, from close to my heart this goes in the middle um, that stores markers um, and of course I've got another box up here this has nothing but punches in it um, lots of boxes one of the brown boxes over here sorry guys I've gotten tangled up um, <clears throat> one of these brown boxes has nothing but um, um, tags in it um, to embellish layouts or journaling tags, those type tags. Um, decorative scissors is in one. And I have a lot of decorative scissors because you can see I have more over here. Um, and I have three of those ribbon um, holders which are full. And then I've got more storage boxes here. And which I have a long ways. I could stack them up if I wanted to. Um, and of course I have one of these, um, I forget what they're called. I purchased it at Michael's. I think they were like, I don't remember, 70 or $80 regular priced. And I'm sure I probably got it on sale when I purchased it. And my lighting is pitiful because it's night time. Okay. Anyway, and you can see that I've used, um, I've got um, my sprays and ribbons and flowers and ribbons and 
chipboard letters and numbers and sayings and embossing powders and just all my buttons are sorted by color you can see those there um, bling they, these buttons in this particular container I got from a yard sale for 50 cent not the container but the buttons um, and then I've got more ribbons I won't be able to show you all my ribbons but anyway um, but I wanted to show you how that I've got my desk set up here with two other tables in a U shape I'm kind of boxed in because this table is where my computer is normally sitting and then I work at my desk um, and another table that's over behind it you can see there's a table here and then under that I use it for storage um, you can see I have a storage um, bin here that I put all sorts of things in mostly my adhesives and tool type things are in here pens markers there's papers um, and things to embellish in that drawer and then you can't really see under here that well but I have my bind it all and um, other supplies my shredder and a container of projects that I have finished and swaps and received things like that but anyway um, back to the fact that my desk is in a u-shape so I've got this table then if you're going around I've got on that filing cabinet there's a um, picture printer there and then you can see here's the other table and then under this table I use for storage also I have another um, two stacking bins these two stacking bins I purchased it's two two separate ones stacked on top of each other I, I got these at a yard sale for five dollars for both of them so they were 250 each and you know I just put um, different assortment of embellishments in these two drawers and then this one has stamps in it which you can see I can these are in six by six packs these are all my close to my heart stamps it's not all of them but um, that's what's stored in there so that's a bunch of stamp sets in there then this is what I'm really wanting to show you is <clears throat> You can see I've got these containers stacked right here. This very bottom one has all of my um, bind it all, not all of it, but a lot of the bind it all wires are in that. And um, I think everybody's probably seen these for your sponge daubers. I think it holds like 60. And, um, but these little things, this is a um, container that like let's see if I can get the glare off of it like nuts and bolts and screws and those kinds of things come in and normally people just kind of toss those out of course this has um, some buttons in it I think most of those buttons probably came from close to my heart but um, I use these containers um, which you can see this one um, sorry guys I know I'm making a mess of this video I've never held the camcorder in my hand and videoed like this before so um, you just have to bear with me a second here okay now this one um, I also got this container at a um, yard sale but but I got a bunch of these um, the ones that screws and nuts and bolts and things come in at a yard sale for 10 cents each 10 cents is all I paid for them and then I think these were like 50 cent for this size which was an awesome deal and you can tell that's mostly like button brad buttons um, of all types and then 
I'm probably making you sick doing this back and forth. Um, this is a little tool caddy from um, Close to My Heart that it comes with um, a lot of stuff in it, but I like it for keeping my all my um, you know sanding tools and um, distressing tools and daubers and all that kind of stuff. It's a, 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 like a distressing tool kit, so I really like that. Um, this one has all sorts of flowers in it, and um, I have them with. Let's see you can see the bad thing about this is that I take the things out and then I don't know what company they were by the name of them or anything like that so what I've started doing is cutting the packaging that tells you what it is off and sticking it in with it that way I'll know um, that's the only bad thing about doing that which you can see see here I've got all these things with nothing saying who they're by although I would say 90% of this is probably close to my heart in this particular one um, but yeah I love these containers so the, I think that's a great storage solution because you can stack them and um, and they hold a lot of stuff. Then these containers I love, but unfortunately close to my heart no longer makes these. But it's a case that opens up and you put all these little jars in there. And you can store your um, whatever you want to store in them. And these, uh, it's full of just different sizes and colors of brads. Then I have another one that has um, all of like um, different types of embellishments in it. It's, but the brads are in this one. I also have brads, as you can see, stacked up over here. And um in one of these storage boxes and also in the top caddy that goes in on my um stamp and marker holder and then you're supposed to put that on top for the reinker. Okay, and one more thing that I wanted to show you was I'm going to pause this. Okay. This is my stamp storage tower and my paper tower side by side and then there's albums stuck in between there but um, new albums that I haven't used but you can see the stamp storage to the left the sad thing is they don't make those anymore I called the company and they have quit making them and I was really frustrated by that because it was a wonderful solution for my stamps and then this is my paper tower also beside it and you can see I've got all of my paper arranged by color but um, this holds a lot of stamps in every drawer so I have a lot of stamps stored in that then if you look up here I have more boxes stacked almost to the ceiling I could probably get uh, one more height um, two more at the top of that it's two four six eight high no it's four high but anyway I could probably go five high um, and those boxes are from close to my heart they're made to store our stamps in or other things and this is some of the boxes um, that are just sitting up there that I was telling you about um, that screws and nuts and bolts see came in um, another storage solution is the back of the door 
which if you're being that you're in a living room I don't know that you have this option except um, you said you had a closet and maybe on the inside of the closet door you could use one of it this is just a shoe bag holder that I saw on sale for five bucks um, you can get shelving um, there's two shelves I've got you can see more shelves down here that I purchased at the yard sale for 50 cents each to hang then I have these um, storage containers and I've been looking for some more of them um, I got them at Walmart but so far I have not found any just like them but I really like these and, and those in those though what I have is my painting supplies um, and I'm gonna put another shelf under those two and maybe one above it um, okay now I want to show you my closet okay I have turned my camera sideways so that you can get a full view of my closet of course I'm gonna turn the camera back this um, room was a bedroom and I live in a church parsonage the church owns this home so um, because my husband is a pastor and um, this closet was a bedroom closet with just a um, rod for hanging clothes and so I had my husband to take the rod out and we and he built shelving in this closet and I'm gonna get in the way of my light here but um, maybe you can see um, I've got all kinds of things stored in here but he built shelves of course this top shelf was in there but you can see I've stacked everything up pretty high in the closet um, and anything that I put in boxes I put on the box what's in the box so that um, I can see what I need you know read it on the end of the box and be able to get it out and then you can see here he built these two shelves and I've got all, con all kinds of things in there for altering you know albums and and then I have all of my re-inkers in these two um, shoe box plastic shoe boxes and there's mini albums and um, 8 by 8 and 12 by 12 papers and what have you and then in this corner there's a box that goes all the way back to the back of the shelf which is pretty deep um, and that's just all of my own uh, papers and kits and stuff um, all of that's I'm pretty sure all of that is close to my heart stuff um, And then I've got flowers stacked up and um, then this box has kits and things in it um, that I have for sale and then I have these two crates that I have stamp sets in um, those are stamp sets that I have to sell and you can see up here I've got one that says sassy strands that's um, you know fiber type um, ribbon I guess you could call it but it's not really ribbon to embellish layouts with and this is just a simple shoe box with a few fall stamps and miscellaneous stamps in it and then this is like my large um, eight and a half by eleven envelope stamp sets and then you can see I've got a paint can back there full of ribbon and the bottom one's full of ribbon and then I've got all of my embossing powders and beads and fun flock and all that kind of stuff in there. Um, and then this um, diaper, not diaper, um, baby wipe box. I kept the box, took the label off, and I just have um, like um, things to embellish layouts with. And I'm sorry that I'm saying um a lot. If I can get the lid off okay you can see I've got like Monopoly money dice Monopoly game pieces dominoes all cards different things like that in there that I can use on layouts 
And one other thing I forgot to show you under my desk. Well, let me finish the closet first. Okay, then if you look down here, I have all these boxes stacked up. They're double thickness because the closet is pretty deep. And then there's a rolling, that's my computer bag, and behind it is a rolling cart. It's full of stuff. And then this is my paint bag, but um, it's full of scrapbooking stuff. Um, and then there again, boxes double stacked. This is all paper. There's paper stacked behind that. And then over in the corner, which you cannot see because it's too dark, um, is my camera bag and um, other scrapbooking stuff. Okay, now if you go back over here, I forgot to show you that next to um, this storage then I have two um I don't know what you call these um bins that I've purchased at big lots I did not pay a, very much for them um there you can see them um and and they're full of um 12 by 12 paper stacks. Um, then I have more paper stacks um, in a cabinet. It, in fact, it's loaded with paper and glue and um, all that stuff in the cabinet. And that is my ideas. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but up on this shelf, that those are silk flowers all um, arranged or separated by colors. And of course, you probably notice scanning around that I have flowers everywhere. Um, and then I use this spindle right here. I have to move it off of my cutting um, my paper trimmer whenever I'm going to use it. Of course I have a smaller paper trimmer but um, I do use this big one a lot. And that's all my ideas. Thank you for watching. One other thing I forgot to mention was I have in this um, a rolling cart. I got it years ago from um, Creative Memories and it has pouches on both sides and on the front and I have cutting tools I think in those and then inside of this is where I store even more of my 12 by 12 paper and when I was in a small space this is where I had all my paper was in this and over in the um, storage towers right here um, paper storage tower but I also have a bunch of paper stacked up here too. Um, I would say, um, I don't know how much, anyway, that's a lot of paper there in this cabinet.